Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge. So in this video, we will learn how to create this particular website. So we have this nice looking uh, responsive website. And we have different sections like uh, about the site itself, services, the, uh, so services offered, and the portfolio. Okay and then call to action and of course this contact information or contact form and then if we try to click on this buttons or the menus at, at the top we could see that the page scroll to that particular area so about and then services portfolio contact and we have the footer at the bottom and then if you try to click on this uh, text or the logo you could actually navigate to the top of the page so in this particular video we will be learning how to create this all the necessary files all the necessary structure or all the necessary uh, tags that needed to build this particular website and if you can see this is a responsive website okay so if you try to resize this okay you can see that the elements will uh, try to fit with the window size okay and then if you try to click on this uh, mobile devices then we can see how our website will look in our so for example mobile phone tablet and so on so we have uh, we can also click on this hamburger icon and see the menu for our website and then we could click on that particular item and then move to that particular uh, area in our page we could also try to select devices say for example galaxy s5 uh, iphone 5 uh, se so you can see what the website will look into this particular website so iphone 6 okay ipad pro and then uh, you can see that it is very responsive and it will look good whatever whatever device that we select or whatever device we're using so if you want to learn how to build this particular website just follow along with this tutorial and I will guide you through all the steps, steps necessary to build this nice looking responsive website using Bootstrap. Now let us see how the project is being set up and let's go to our code editor. So in this particular project, I am using the Atom uh, code editor, which is a very nice free open source editor for your different projects so in here we have the basic setup of our project we have the CSS we have the images okay and we also have the JavaScript files and then we also have the vendor folder which also includes uh, bootstrap and awesome jQuery and Magnif uh, magnific pop-up to save you a lot of time configuring the setup for this particular project, we will be providing a link that will enable you to download the starter files for this uh, particular website. And if you haven't downloaded the starter files yet, go ahead and download the files so that you'll be ready and you can follow along with this particular tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to discuss is the structure or the basic structure of this index.html so we have the standard doc type html and we have the language as english then we have the head tag and we set the character set to the standard utf8 or utf-8 and then we also set the meta name uh, viewport and we also set the meta name for description and empty for the content. We have also set the author and then content 
you can go ahead and type in your content for this particular meta tab. And then the next one we have the title, which is uh, programming knowledge, and then home. The next one is to include the font awesome icons. And we have this in our vendor directory. So we have the font awesome free. The next one is to include the Google fonts, which is the Meriwether Sans. And we also included the other variation for the for this particular font. The next one is to include the plugin uh, CSS. So we have this magnificent pop-up CSS included in our uh, file. Then next we have included our own uh, style sheet which is coming from the created.css file inside the CSS directory. Then that's the end of our head tag. And then for this particular body tag we have added the ID page dash tap and then we're going to use this id later on so i have added different sections the section for navigation the mast head the section for about and then services section all the necessary code for our services section will go uh, here and for our portfolio will be here call to action here and contact section and so on and then at the end of our file, we have included different JavaScript files. We have the jQuery or the minified jQuery version. We also included the Bootstrap bundle uh, minified version, that JS. And also we included the plugin JavaScript for easing or uh, jQuery easing minified uh, JS. The other one is the Magnific pop-up jQuery. Uh, minified version also and last but not the least is our uh, JavaScript or creative our very own creative that JS so we're just gonna modify this JavaScript file later on and then th that's the end of our body tag and also our HTML tag and now we're going to start modifying our index that HTML the first thing that we're going to need is to edit the navigation or the add the navigation to our website. So the first tag that we'll be adding will be the nav. And we'll just add the ID for this, which is main nav. Okay. And then for this particular element, we'll be defining the classes for this. The first one is nav bar. Okay. The second is nav bar dash expand and then large and then also we have the nav then light or nav bar light and this navigation should be fixed on top. And then we're just going to add padding for this, which is pi or ty-3, which means that we need to set the padding for y-axis. Okay. So inside this tag, we need to add a div with a class container. So div, and then it should have the class container. And then we're going to add a link. And then the target for this will be the page top or the body with the ID page top. So every time we click on this link, it should move the page to the top of our body or top of our page. Okay. So in this particular link, we need to add classes also. So class, and then we're going to define nav bar brand and another class will be js dash scroll trigger and then inside this we need to add the name for this particular website for for your for my case it's programming knowledge okay 
So in your case, maybe different. You can use whatever name you want. So I think that's it for this particular tutorial. And in the next video, we will continue working on with this index.html to add different elements to our website. Thanks.